Good evening, YouTube. We're under the hood of the shit box. 73 F100. Since I've had this last couple months, I've had some issues with it holding a charge or wanting to start without being jumped or putting a charge to the battery. Uh, it's been acting kind of funny in that way to me, not having that much experience in the electrical of a vehicle. I just took it straight up the road to battery specialists. They took care of me, hooked me up with a commercial, thousand crank and apps battery. I did let them know I was planning on adding airbags, compressors and all that, gauges. Uh, they did tell me that this was way too long. It's just a store-bought predetermined length that they just threw in. We're gonna shorten that up. Uh, while we're doing that, we're gonna add a new terminal here, just so they match, I guess. Um, I'm just doing it kind of budget-friendly for right now because part of the airbags, I'm gonna have to relocate the battery. So I'm just getting it going, getting it reliable. One issue he said I had was the voltage regulator was loose and jiggling around. Though it was still charging, it might have uh, came and went or shorted, this and that. So I just went ahead and got another one. While we have these loosened, we're going to add another one of these. Uh, nothing left to do, but do it. Safety first. You brainstorm me at work into safety first. So we're going to pull the terminals off the posts. We're going to shorten this one almost forgot another important thing this little guy here this is supposed to go somewhere to the chassis so we're gonna add that we got some tools here what do i need here i need a half inch when i was there at the battery specialist the uh twist twist his name was Joe, turned out to be the owner. He was a badass dude. He was really knowledgeable, really helpful. Uh, a little history on this truck is it's got the old paint markings of Park Rose auto glass, or just Park Rose glass. His uncle used to work there, so he actually took a picture Other side of the truck and asked me to bring him updates as I did work to it. He was happy to see it. Keep going the wrong direction. That's what doing stuff drinking will do to you. Okay. But yeah, he took a picture, asked me to bring him updates. His name was Joe. Joe's a gangster. Definitely to go in, see Joe more often. I suggest you guys do the same if you're in my area, Portland, Oregon. Nip this bad boy here. So these are the posts that I bought. I got them color coordinated. Red and black, obviously positive and negative. What I don't like is this little flimsy sheet metal thing that you shove the wire in there and smash it down. If this was a more permanent thing, I'd pull the sheet metal out and actually mount my studs to these bolts here so they're at a nice connection. Um, I'm gonna stick to the way these are designed to do it, knowing that it's gonna move in the future when we do the airbags. Trim off a little rubber here. This is some solid rubber. I still haven't determined where I want to locate the battery when I do relocate it. I've seen guys do it under the frame. or on the frame, under the body. There's that. While we're at it, I 
pre-fabricated this ground. It's just some old amp cable that I had. Crimped it, put a little heat shrink on her. Forgot a tool. Be right back. We're back. Forgot the old DeWalt impact. Now we're just going to pick a spot down here after we find the right size driver. It's a three eighths. All right. So we're gonna add this little feller right down here. I got a stainless lock washer on it. There we go. <clears throat> now, if we were to loosen these. Just a little history. I rarely, rarely do my own mechanics work. I'll cut a frame apart, re weld the whole thing. But when it comes to stuff like this, it's, it's pretty rare for me. But that guy, he told me what I needed to do, which is helpful. Old Joe. Battery specialist, 112th and Powell, Portland, Oregon. Get this ground cable ready. Put those down there. All right. Some kind of pinch them both in there. What size we got here? 7 16 An upcoming video I got some uh, LED lights to upgrade the dash a little bit mine are kind of dim we'll get to that a little later uh, the, another thing coming up is got some new h4 LEDs that we're gonna put in it I'm really excited about that uh, I bought them a while ago I've just been waiting to get this electrical taken care of. Uh, I didn't want to mess with the lighting or anything else until I knew exactly what I was dealing with here. Okay, so the ground is ready. I think it's time to mess with the old voltage regulator. Hey neighbor, how you doing? Hey. How you doing, buddy? Uh, neighbor walking by, he's a good dude. He's a good dude, he brings us snacks. I like snacks. He doesn't complain when I have a fire outside. So those screws, like I said, Joe, battery specialist, the voltage regulator was a little loose <clears throat> so I'm gonna drill it out a little bit and I got some actually uh, some Phillips head bolts and some washers and some nets and we're gonna add it that way so I can tighten it up and the looseness won't be a problem anymore I'm just gonna drill out these holes a little bit. Don't drill in this, that's a radiator. 
that's bad news. Okay, so undo this thing. Never done this, so that it's got to go back on the ground. There's some loose. I got a lot of cleaning up to do in this thing, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, if it's not a surprise to y'all, the shit box is not perfect. So here we go. Empty slot goes towards the top. Remember that. This gets grounded in the bolt. Remember that. That's the old one. It could be the original. I don't know what the original looks like. If, if it's shaped differently. Uh, if somebody tried fixing this. Here's a new one. It's all nice and shiny. Slap that plug back in. Just like that. Should be good. Let's get some hardware. Got some little shorty Phillips here. Don't forget the ground here. My goal, other than customizing this truck, is you know, bagged. I got the rims, you saw that. Really great truck for camping, summertime truck, after work truck. I drive a work truck, so this isn't my daily driver. I do want it to be for the daily driver. Driver, sorry. I do want it to be reliable enough to be a daily driver. If that's what I choose. But just look dope as shit in a way, along with it. I want it to look dope as shit. She's solid now, she's shiny. She looks good. Do you see it? See it right here? I'm checking my, this is showing me what you're seeing right here. All right. Okay, so we added the ground to the chassis that they wanted. I got some zip ties. We're gonna make this look a little better. I really don't care for this. I know I said that before, I can't say it enough, but this is getting relocated. As soon as I find a place, weld up a pan, but that's a long time down the road. I got, I got a lot of work to do before we get to any customization. So just like the ground, I'm gonna nip this baby off. The nippers. Grab the nippers. Slide the old protecto down. <laughs> I scared myself getting ready to cut into this being the positive wire. It's not hooked up. We're good. I am really inexperienced with electrical on cars. Cutting and welding on vehicles, building some speaker boxes here and there, and that's about it. That's a little positive wire that came on there. Don't know what it does. I'm gonna add that to one of these bolts, put it right on top. Something I get right here. Okay. So I'm gonna get this one just because I don't know what would happen. I'm gonna snug this one up before I slap it on the battery. I'm scared. Lost my ranch. You guys seen a 760 wrench? I don't know that I have to get it completely tightened because I'm going to need the sturdiness of the battery post to help me. But I want to make sure that there is full contact before I add this to it. Mount this to it. Oh. 
Okay. Everything is done. I botched it, Craig. I botched it. This is not running through there. I'm gonna get some zip ties and clean this up later. You don't need to watch me put zip ties on. You probably don't even watch me put a battery in. But I had fun hanging out with you. I'm gonna grab the keys, get my tools out of the engine compartment. Uh, let's see if she starts. See you there. And yes, I did remember to tighten those down. All right, we're back. The moment of truth. He's nervous as I am. Ah, you fine. Let's hear a roar. Hear a roar. started right up. I'm going to take a minute first off to say to all you YouTubers out there kudos. It's a lot harder than you think to keep a conversation going while you're trying to stay focused on the job you're doing. Pretty tough, but we made it through. Also to Joe, a battery specialist, you're an awesome dude, man. He took care of me. You're knowledgeable. You told me what to fix. You could have charged me and did it all yourself. You just charged me for the battery. Here's to you. Here's to your uncle. He used to work at Park Rose Glass. I'll be back. Jason out. Have a good night.